briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1973, a legal dispute unfolded between Coastal Steel Erectors and Algernon Blair, Inc. The crux of the matter, the subcontractor's right to demand compensation through quantum meruit in case of contract breach by the prime contractor. The conflict arose during the construction of a naval hospital in South Carolina, where the two firms were working together. Coastal Steel, which had agreed to provide labor and equipment, found itself in a fix when Algernon Blair rejected the payment for the crane rental. This prompted Coastal Steel to down their tools after completing just 28% of the agreed task. Looking to recoup the value of work already done, Coastal Steel took the matter to the courts. Initially, the district court ruled against Coastal, claiming that staying on the project would have resulted in heavier losses. But later, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit disagreed and overturned this decision, teeing up Coastal Steel for a quantum Meruit recovery. The higher court affirmed that Coastal Steel was within its right to seek restitution for the labor and equipment used to the advantage of Algernon Blair. On this basis, the case was remitted back to the district court with instructions to evaluate the worth of Coastal's contributions. Any judgment in Coastal's favor would then involve subtracting payments already made under the prevailing contract. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.